Hello folks, Eastern America here. Please subscribe, please share, hit that notification button. Uh, I do want to talk about um, the current president. And uh, I want to talk about the, cons the current president of the United States. Please subscribe, please like, please share, hit that notification button. I want to talk about energy prices and shift my focus away from Ukraine. I know I've already commented about that way back and I'm still pretty much there. I, I don't know what else to say. But uh, on the oil and gas uh, energy crisis that we have, uh, just a few pointers. Um, I know there's all these committees for everything, committee for this, committee for that. Well, we need a consumer price oversight committee at the federal level to regulate the cost of goods, such as the food prices, um, you know, everybody that makes cereal, smaller containers every time you turn around, charging a little bit more and giving you a little bit less snacks, whatever, to include pork, which uh, Smithfield Hams is a big producer, uh, Purdue, um, what's the other one, um, the other one, there's there's two others um, at a loss right now, but I'm pretty close to reminding myself what they are, I might get it in this video, but uh, just a few pointers, um, I want to point out, uh, our president is in his second term, and energy prices are going between four and six dollars and it's steadily climbing and there is some fluctuation and fortunately there is uh, more barrels of oil and gas being produced and but the, the thing is we are in an energy crisis and we have untapped uh, untapped you know um, resources you know everything from those chips that could go in those electric cars to you know oil and gas and uh, one of the things uh, that's going to cost, and I, I, I know this is going to happen, just especially if this climbs right into the third or fourth uh, year of the president's four-year term, the, the candidates on the other side are going to be running on the energy and gas and, you know, the, um, the resources that we have. We're rich in resources. And just read today and by the way please subscribe please like please share hit that notification button today is uh, today is March um, March the I think it's the 16th I think it is. Uh, March the 16th it is. 2022 yeah. and I, I just want to say this um, I, I think that that we're gonna have a president, no matter who, what party, is going to be focused on energy, gas production, and also natural resources. It's just going to happen. So this is going to cost this president a second term. And uh, I, I think we do need that pipeline, better cooperation with Canadians. But going back to what I read today, I heard that UAE, uh, United Arab Emirates, are, are looking at doing a deal in Chinese yuan. Uh, with oil and gas, well, oil, I think, barrels of oil going to China and, and the currency being paid in yuan. That's interesting. That's off the U.S. dollar. Uh, some people I read in the article said they knew this was going to happen. Uh, but we definitely need to start working together as a global group of people, uh, particularly with what's going on in Ukraine. And we need to either alienate ourselves from these axis of countries that are really uh, really evil to a degree uh, maybe not the people but the governments and we need to get our game plan together we need to start building our defenses too we need to start getting uh, I'm not saying conscripting soldiers but uh, we need to have like a selective service list so they could be called up you know uh, every country needs to focus on their national defense and um, not depend on NATO. We need a North Pacific Treaty Organization, NPTO. Uh, well, Pacific Treaty Organization, PTO, not North, North Pacific, but PTO, Pacific Treaty Organization. So we can all stick together, get our ships out there, get our troops out there. We, we need to get a standardized language in the world, English being the... the the usual language, let's stick to that. Let's focus on English language 
let's get English conversation teachers in these these countries that have banned English teachers. Uh, I'm not going to mention names, but we know who, who they are. Uh, but we need to stick together and, and start coming together. Maybe we need to start trading more together. And we need to start alienating these evil, not suspicious, I'm very close to using that word evil, but these countries that are Axis countries, if you want to call them that, and we need to ally ourselves and, and I uh, hope the Ukraine situation works out. But, but like I said, I, I don't think this guy's going to stop at Ukraine, to be honest, even after any type of settlements. I'm, I've never seen someone so distrustful and uh, everything he says is the opposite of what he does. And he uses uh, ceasefires as an example and, and then he, he starts bombarding so that the other side doesn't continue to defend themselves. So it's he, it really underhanded stuff going on. And um, so anyway, this is my take. Uh, we got to get these prices down. And, you know, I got my Prius and I'm I, my hybrid Prius that's supposed to get uh, 50 miles to the gallon. Uh, and I've had it for 10, over 10 years. And it doesn't get that anymore, probably because the batteries have been worn down. Uh, those, the hybrid battery, the big hybrid battery is in there. Uh, but it's a shame my, my vehicle staying grounded for a week. It's like an airplane on the tarmac. You can't fly it but once a week. And that's only for grocery shopping and stuff. So uh, the coffee shop has been in the house and it's not at the coffee shop. So, you know, and these restaurants trying to raise prices. Uh, you know, you're going to have to consume some of that uh, profit margin and, and not raise your prices. Uh, St. Patrick's Day event going on. Uh, for, Alexa, what day is St. Patrick's Day? St. Patrick's Day is one day away. On okay. Thursday, March 17th. March 17th, tomorrow. I can't even go to uh, the local corner Irish, you know, Patrick's Day celebration because I already know uh, they, they're advertising, they have specials, but guess what? They won't list them. And I already know that's a trap, you know, trying to get me to come in there and there'll be no specials. I know this place, by the way, so I used to go there and, and I'm, I'm not going to be there tomorrow. So I'm just saying that uh, people are too smart for this and uh, they're not going to go shop at your businesses if you're raising prices through the roof. You just got to eat some of that profit margin volume and uh, you're still going to make a profit, just less than a profit, you know, less of a profit than you normally make. You know, we can't victimize people. People can only take but so much. And um, people are grounded. I'm, I, I worry about the service industry, people driving from the county into the city, you know, a uh, 20 minute drive at $4 a gallon and they get 20 miles to the gallon. Well, that's $8. That's a whole hour if they make $8 an hour. So they work and then they got to buy their lunch. So geez, you know, that's what, $12? Now it's twelve. You add eight, eight, nine, ten. That's twenty dollars, and and they're making eight. Eight times eight is uh, sixty-four. Yeah. Six sixty-four dollars in the day, and you take twenty sixty-four. Uh, so it's fifty-four. No, sixty-four. Yeah, sixty-four. Forty-four. Okay, forty-four. No, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars in gas. So. Uh, anyway, you get the, you get the picture. Uh, so, you know, I'm I'm worried that um, and that ladies that are making two dollars an hour and they get tips. Oh gosh, I went to a place the other day. I was like the only guy that left a tip. It, it's a little corner place, you know, long long table, and um, they got their little glass thing up there, and they were all empty. And the poor lady, she probably comes from the county too. I'm in a rural city, so most of our service industry people drive from the county here in Eastern America, like most of America, it's rural. So a lot of people are in the suburbs and they drive into the city and um, not exactly uh, rail. Maybe there is some rail in some rural areas, but it's hard to tell. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe, please like, please share, hit that notification button. And wherever you are, thank you for joining me for my cup of coffee. Talk to you later.